Okay, this is day two of your art project, and I know that um, day one you were supposed to find pictures for your artist and work that they did, and so I have that, and I I'm doing Franz Mark, so I have a picture that he did, and I have a picture of Franz Mark, and then uh, even another one, and then I have several more pieces of work that he did because I like several things. So you have your artwork done. And I have a quote in my notes, so I've done that much. So now I'm ready for day two. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up a new pages. Now, I have to decide which artwork I want in my background. And I happen to know that I want the horse in my background. So I, my layout of my horse is a landscape laying, so I know that I want to go to page blank and choose the landscape orientation. Once it opens up, remember that we're going to go to the bottom of that page and go to 100% so I can see my whole doc, uh, canvas when I'm working. And then I'm going to slide that picture over onto my background. And I want to make it the background of my artwork. Now, I happen to know just by looking that I want to trace that horse. And when you're trying to decide what to trace, you want to look at your painting and decide what do you see that you would like to see maybe a different color, a different texture, what stands out to you as something. And make sure that you don't just pick something easy to trace, but that you find something on there that's going to make that artwork, in, my, in the words of some artists, really cool. So I'm going to trace my art. My, Course, but before I start, I want to save this and put it in my art folder. So I'm going to go to File, down to Save. And remember the path we take, ODM, our folder, and in our art folder. Now, always in art, and I, need to, I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record, but it's our class period, our last name, our first initial, and in whatever your artist's name is in this instance. So mine happens to be Franz Mark. And then I'm going to hit Save. And then notice it has a title up here. Now I'm going to trace my horse. And I am going to get, I know that um, you will be graded on how accurately you trace this time. With the letter, we weren't so worried about accuracy, but on this particular project, you are, so you want to be careful. Okay, so I went ahead and went offline for a little bit so you didn't have to watch me trace around, but notice that I went all the way around. I'm trying to be very careful because I'm being graded and I've gone across the bottom, you just can't see the little red dots, and I'm tracing only the outline of my horse. And remember that I have to stop where I started. So my starting point was right here, and remember I get that little hollow circle by my ink pen when I actually click on my starting point. And now I have an outline of my horse, there it is, okay? And at this point, I want to do file save a version because I've done something that I, I want to make sure I keep. And before I start filling that shape, um, I need two more copies of this in order for me to work with them differently. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put color in this first shape, and that's what you should do is to fill it with some color. You can change it later, but I'm going to select that shape and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with a color for right now. And white is fine. I will come back and work with this later. But I've got a shape filled with white, and then I want to go ahead and file save a version. Then I also want to duplicate this two more times. I want to have a total of three copies. So I'm going to duplicate it now under File, Duplicate. And there's my copy. Here's my original, 7 Pilcher V Franz Mark. Now here's my copy. I have to save it though. Right now it's not saved. So I'm going to go up to File on the menu bar, down to Save. I'm going to delete the word copy, and I'm going to put a 2. It's my second one. 
and I'm going to make sure I'm in my art folder and then I'm going to hit save and then I need one more copy I need a total of three so I'm going to do uh, duplicate again and now there's the copy here's the original I have two there's one two and then here's my third one and it says copy I need to save this one again so I'm going to file save I'm going to delete the word copy and I'm going to put a three and I'm in my art folder and hit save so now I have three you can see them up here one two three right now I want to work with my first one where I put the color I want to put color in there but I think I want to do an advanced gradient so I'm going to play a little bit with these colors and I know for sure that I want a couple more colors up here and I want to make it shades of purple and I think the easiest way to do shades of one color is to use the color wheel and I'm going to start with dark purple and then I'm going to maybe go to some lighter purples And then maybe I want to go back to darker purples again. And I kind of like those shades of purples for the blue horse. Now it still looks just like a blob of purple paint right now on the middle of a Franz Mark painting. So in order to give it back that three dimensional, I'm going to play with the opacity. I have my handles around it. And so right here where there's the opacity, I can change it. And now it's got the picture looks more like a purple horse instead of a blue horse. But I don't really like that contrast, so I'm going to go back and change my mind and maybe do some greens. Because I don't like the purples. So it's easy to change our mind. And again, I want to play with the opacity a little bit. And then the last thing that I want to do is get rid of this hard line. So I'm going to take where it says stroke, I'm going to click on line and choose none. And then I want to click away. And I think that's kind of a cool change to that blue horse. I like that. So I want to go to file, save a version. And I'm going to keep that as maybe a possibility. Now I'm going to go to my second one. And in this one, I want to put a picture inside this tracing of my horse. I want to go and get one of his other paintings. So I'm going to go to my art folder. And I like these pigs. I think he did some pigs. Yeah, you can see there's some pigs. I'm going to actually put that inside. And remember when I go on top of that line, it turns blue. So I know that it's going to go inside that shape and then I can double click on it and move that picture around inside my shape and I may need to make it bigger in this case to fill up that complete shape and then I'm going to click away click on my shape so I get the handles and again I want to work with the opacity so that it is actually a horse with shades of, of pig in there and when I click away I can see the outline of the pig, but yet I can still see my horse. I like it. So for now, I'm going to do save a version. I can come back and play and edit with that a little bit more. Then I want to open up my third one. And this is the one that has the three. And this time, I want to get some random picture to put in there that has nothing to do with nothing, but just something I like. So I'm going to actually go back out to the Internet, and I'm going to search for... Mm, Oh gosh, some colors that I like. How about green frogs? And I want something really, really green. And I found one I like. So I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to try it. So I'm going to drag it to the, well, I need to go to view image. Very nice. Going to drag it out to my desktop and put it into my art folder. 
and then I'm going to try and put that picture inside my horse. Remember, I can double click on it and move it around and get it where I want it. Maybe I want the head of the frog in there. And then again, click away. Oh, I think I moved my drawing. I'm going to click away from, I mean, I've got the handles on it, so now I'm going to change the opacity again and see if I like it. I happen to not like it, so I'm going to edit, undo and everything I've done until I get back to that white. And I am actually going to go find a different picture. This time I'm going to look for a orange sunset. So it may take more than one try. I mean, it, sometimes we have to search and then search again. And I like this one, so I'm going to click on it, go to View Image, take that out to the desktop, minimize Safari, put that in my art folder, and then I'm going to try it again. I'm going to put this orange sunset in the line, line turn blue, and then I'm going to pull it down, and I may have to make it bigger, which I am. Now I'm going to click away. Now again, it looks just like an orange blob or an orange sunset in the middle of a painting. So I'm going to click on it and I pl again play with the opacity so I can again see the horse behind the sunset. Click away and see if I like it. Now it may not be my favorite. I, I would at this point look at my different ones and decide which one I like the best. But again, give yourself the option. And I, again, not am particularly happy with this one, so I might edit undo and go back and find something else to put in there. Because there, I think there's going to actually be something that I totally will like. So it's always getting back to this white background or some color, and then save a version, and then maybe go find another picture. I'm going to actually go out and put in something totally unrelated that we found earlier and that was our moon. I'm just going to try that in there. I didn't like that so I'm going to look again. There are just lots of choices. I'm going to try Mango's Starry Night. Double click and move it around and this might be the key. I don't know might be what I want. And then I'm going to click away, click on it one time, change the opacity. Ah, I think I like it. It's a blue horse, but it's a different, it's a little different. And I like it, so I'm going to go to File, Save a Version. Once you've got that done, you're going to um, probably look at the three that you have and, and make a decision as to which one you would want to work on for your final project. And then, uh, So I'm going to maybe open all three of them and then decide which one I like the best. And I actually think I like the one, Van Gogh, the one with the starry night in the horse. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one to be what I will start on for day three, but this is the conclusion of day two for the art project lesson. So you want to go to File, Save a Version. You're going to go to Pages, Quit Pages. You will close all your folders. If you have any pictures on the desktop, you're going to put those in the trash and disconnect from the server.